Now, I said that the friction depended upon the weight, and that's partially true. There's something more to say. Uh, consider something like this. If I took a surface and put it up like this, and then put a block against that surface, but held it there, and then let it go down like this, there's friction there. You can even hear it rubbing against that surface. And the friction is not because of the weight. There's something else. And that something else is called the normal force. Here's what we mean by the normal force. So let's look at this thing called the normal force. A normal line is a line that is perpendicular to a surface. Here is a surface. And here is a line that is at 90 degrees or perpendicular to that surface. It is called a normal line. Now the normal force is the reaction force of the lower surface to the upper surface. Let's take a look. Imagine a rock, a big rock sitting on the earth and it's on a hard surface and the weight pushes down and you know by action reaction the ground pushes back up with a force that is equal and opposite and it's 90 degrees, it's perpendicular to that surface, it's called a normal reaction force. Now pretend that a great big hand came out of the sky and pushed down on that rock. Well now the normal force, the reaction force, would be greater by the amount of that push because that push is now added to the weight. So you see the friction actually will be dependent upon the normal force. One more. Let's go back to what we started with. Here's a wall and here is a block pushed into that wall. Now that block has a weight pulling downwards and it has nothing to do with the friction. But that finger pushing inward on that block is causing an inward force. And that inward force now causes a reaction force of the wall against that block. And that's called the normal reaction force. And that's again what friction depends on. Now in the special and familiar case where we pull a block along a level surface with a force that is parallel to that surface, we found that the normal force equals the weight. And that's why the friction we found was proportional to the weight. But it is better and more accurate to give that general conclusion that the friction force is proportional to the normal force.